After Governor Cuomo's announcement that cashless tolls will be coming to the thruway at the Grand Island Toll Plaza, some local lawmakers are now pushing to have that expanded to other toll plazas in the Buffalo area. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. And I'm Pete Gallivan. Among the lawmakers pushing for this is Congressman Brian Higgins. Two on your side's Dave McKinley spoke with him about it today. He had tough questions for Higgins about the money that would be used and the jobs that could be lost. In the 2018 uh, state budget, uh, the Thruway Authority, there is a designation for $750,000 for the Buffalo Division of the State Thruway uh, to rehabilitate uh, the toll plazas. At a news conference where he was joined by state and local lawmakers, Higgins says spending that money to refurbish these would be a waste if they're eventually going to be replaced by cashless tolls anyway. And so as opposed to investing in the past, uh, we are calling on the state thruway authority to invest in the future. Not so fast as a thruway authority spokesperson who noted to us that installing cashless tolls at a bridge at the end of the line like Grand Island is easier than at other plazas because you first have to have the cashless toll system up and running system wide, which it intends to do eventually. He also said Higgins knows this and ought to spend more time securing federal funding to make that happen. But even there, it's been widely reported federal highway dollars could be imperiled by a current dispute between federal transportation officials and the Cuomo administration over what the feds term as New York's illegal tourism signs. Isn't federal government assistance, though, for New York State and the Thruway in particular now in jeopardy because of those signs? No, and I sit on the House Ways and Means Committee and the Budget Committee. Uh, I think there would be good bipartisan support for a major transportation bill that would include money to make the conversion to cashless tolls. But these toll booths also represent jobs, and according to data we recently obtained through a Freedom of Information request, last year the Thruway Authority paid out nearly $30 million in wages to those who take the tolls and those who manage them. Do you expect any blowback from unions who represent these workers or others who say, you put in a cashless toll, you're eliminating jobs? Yeah. There's always going to be resistance to change, and cashless tolls are coming. My hope is that we could find a way to transition uh, toll takers into other positions uh, within the Thruway Authority. Yeah, well, that might be easier said than done, as there are close to 1,700 toll takers employed by the Thruway Authority. We reached out to Teamsters Local 72, which represents all those toll takers, seeing if it had a position on all of this. Uh, no one from Teamsters 72 has gotten back to us on it yet. Reporting live from near the Thruway, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News. All right, thank you, Dave. Now to a developing story.